Hi, my name is Bryony and I'm going to be guiding you through this class today. We're going to start with a little bit of breath work and meditation. So bring your index finger and thumb to touch, other three fingers together, and bring them down onto your arms, soften down the shoulders, arriving into Yana Mudra, and close down the eyes. Lengthen up through the spine. And sink the pelvis down towards the earth. And feel the breath rising up through the spine. Just in front of the spine, we have what's called the Shashumna Navdi. So just feel the breath in front of this place and just breathe into it. And exhale out of it. As if you were clearing it with the breath or cleaning it with the breath. Just inhaling. And exhaling. And just following that breath up and down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale all the way up the spine, all the way up the back, and next to the crown of the head. And then exhaling all the way down, third eye, chin, heart, belly, hips to the pubic bone. And then again, just inhaling all the way up. And exhaling all the way down. And we're going to do this for a count of six. So inhale one two, three, four, five, six, straight into the exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale up, two, three, four, five, six, exhale straight down, five, four, three, two, one, and again, inhale up, Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale is up. Exhale, down. Inhale into Ujjayi Pranayama. Healing that dental restriction of the back of the glottis and the throat. And coming into the sound of your own voice, the own breath, the inhale. And the exhale. It's just you and your breath and your mat today. And then the palms together in front of your heart. In committing to your practice, to the flow, to your swati yaya, which is your self study, to the experience, to the good and to the bad. And we'll start our practice with three ohms. Before we take our chant, just take a moment to devote your practice to someone you love, to a god, to a deity. And perhaps send the beautiful vibration of Om towards them today. Aum. Contracting through the spine. Exhale, push the heels down. Retract the shoulder blades together. Lengthen through the spine one more time. Curl up into your toes. Round into your back. Look to your navel. Lengthen through the spine. Meet your downward dog. Gaze towards the navel. Breath is moving in. Breath is moving out. It's not a competition. There's no judgment. It's just you and your breath today. One more breath. 
Let that right leg up through like a dog. Bend the knee, open up the chest. Swing the leg to the front of the mat. Draw the back heel down, swing the arms up into Anjali Asana. Bring your palms together, look up towards the sky. Exhale, palms to the heart. Place the palms down, step into your high plank. Any version of this vinyasa that you'd like to take, knees, chest, chin, full chakaranda. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Send the left leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Send it to the front of the mat. Step the back foot, knee down. Inhale, press palms together, Anjali Asana. Look up. Exhale, melt the prayer down. Lift. High plank. Any variation of vinyasa that you want to take. Knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Up dog. More cobra. Up and back. Downward facing dog. Find your breath. Find your downward dog. Meet yourself here. Bend the legs, look forward, step or float to the front. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise tall. Press the four corners of the feet down, navel lift, spine lifts, heart lifts. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place the hands down, step the left leg back, Anjali Asana. Bring the palms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down around the front foot. Stretch both the legs, big pyramid pose. Place the left foot down. Maybe wiggle it in a little bit. Bring the left hand up towards the sky for a version of Trikonasana. Extend the left fingertips forward. Rotate the heart towards the sky. Breathe. Both hands down around the front foot. Wiggle the back leg around, come into a runner's lunge. Place the hands down, float that right leg up, three-legged dog. Take any variation of a vinyasa that you want to take. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Bend the legs, look forward, step or float to the front, halfway lift. Exhale, fold heart towards the thighs. Inhale, sink the heels down, rise tall, flat back is up. Maybe take a little back bend. Exhale, melt the heart towards the side. Inhale, half your left, shoulders pull back. Place the right leg to the back, drop the knee, front knee length, heel, swing the arms of Anjali Asana. Lift the heart up, surrender the head back, place the hands down around the front foot, stretch that back leg, hips facing the front of the mat, look to the front of the mat. Spin the right toe open. Bring the left hand in front, bring the right hand up towards the sky. Hug up the thigh muscles and rotate the hand towards the sky. Maybe the hand comes onto your shin, whatever works for you. Then we'll take that hand towards the front of the mat. Continue to rotate the heart upwards. Extending through right fingertip to right hip bone to right back heel. Place both hands down around the front foot. Wiggle the front foot, the back foot around. Runner's lunge. Place both hands down, lift the left leg up and back. Take any variation that you would like to take for your body today. Inhale is up. Exhale down, we're facing down. Breathe into that down dog. Big deep breath in. Sink the heels down. Extend the right leg up. Bend the knee, come onto the left forearm. Keep pressing the knee up towards the sky. Look towards your heart. Feel that knee opening. Good. Stand the leg, step it forward. Come into a runner's lunge, set the foot down. Open up as if you're going into warrior two. And go into warrior two. Open all the way up. And go over your middle fingers. Lengthen through the fingertips. Extend from fingertip across your heart to the other fingertip. Reach the right hand forward. Bring the left hand up by your ear. Uh, not your ear. Sort of by your ear. Look forward again. Shift the weight forward. Going into Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon. Flex through the back foot. Rotate your heart to the sky. Find your breath. Keep finding your breath. But keep looking down today. Keep looking down and find a point of focus. Remember, it's just you and your breath and your body. Bend the back leg. Catch the inside of the back foot. Send that foot up towards the sky. Keep stretching through the right leg. Keep that left leg up. Breathe. Find your stillness, find your breath. It's just you and your breath on your mat today. With whatever comes up, meeting your challenges, meeting the expansion, letting go of any inner critique, just allow yourself to be. Bend the right leg, look forward. You're going to stand up into your dancer's pose. Take your time, there's no hurry. 
Stand up, kick the back foot back. Bring the right arm in front of your shoulder, kick the back foot away. Find your point of focus. Breathe. Find the balance. Find the stillness. Two more breaths. Lift up. Place the back foot all the way down. Swing the back leg to the back ankle. Lift the chest, open up the heart. Windle it all the way forward. Take your vinyasa or go straight to downward dog. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to step straight back into downward dog for me today. Eat your breath. Eat your body. Bring your right arm, forearm down. Bring the left leg up. Bend the knee. Open up that hip. Look towards your navel. Sink that right heel down so you're getting right into the back of that calf and that knee. Swing the leg to the front. Step it all the way to the front into your winner's lunge. And then go ahead and open up into Vira Padrasana 2 on the other side. Find your warrior 2, find your stillness, but find that softness across your heart. Take the softness, take the tension out of the shoulders, place it into the legs. Allow the legs to carry you. Meet your breath, keep it steady. Reach forward with the left hand, find a point of focus on the front. Right hand comes up, extend into Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon. Flex through the back foot. Feel that inner thigh extended. Find a point of focus on the ground in front of the end of your nose. And don't look up today. Just keep looking down. We'll take the left ribs towards the sky. Breathe. Bend the back leg. Grab the big toe of the right foot. Extend that right foot up towards the ground. Maybe you need to bend your left leg here. That's completely okay. Honor your body. Splitting through the legs. Really pushing into your right hand. That's just going to open up that right chest a little bit more. Bend the left leg. You're going to stand up into your dancer's pose. Take your time. There's no hurry. It's a meditation. Stand up and kick the foot back. Bring the left arm down the line of your shoulder. Keep kicking the foot back. Bring the leg up. Bring the, chest, the hips down. But keep pressing the chest up. Three. Two. One. Gently. Bend onto that back leg like you're kneeling, wind all the way back, open through the side body, bring it all the way forward. Then you ask our straight to downward dog, whatever works for you works for me. Then bend the knees, meet yourself in the lasana, child's pose. Just drop the head down and feel the breath through the body here. Just you and your breath in your body today. One more breath. You're going to come all the way up into your tabletop. Bring your knees slightly further back. Walk your hands forward into Anahatasana. So you're just going to drop your heart down towards the sky. Towards the sky. Towards the sky. And every breath, you're just feeling your heart melt down. So you breathe in. And you melt your heart down. Two more breaths. Come all the way forward. Keep your hands where they are. Just hug the elbows in. Come into your sphinx pose. Pull the chest forward. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together. Close down the eyes. And just find the stillness. And feel the heart opening out. Pull it all the way down onto your belly. And you're just going to flip over into your back. Mm, as gracefully as you can. You've got an option, you're either going to take bridge pose or coming into Urdhva Nyarasana. So if you're taking bridge pose, fingertips by your heels. If you're taking Urdhva Nyarasana, fingertips by your shoulders. Whatever you do, commit, because it's just you and your breath and your body. No one else. No inner fatigue. If you're going into bridge, curl the pelvis up, the belly up, the chest up, maybe insult the fingers. Bring into Urdhva Nyarasana, come on, so turn your head and then push your heart all the way through. Try not to let your toes go out wherever you are. Make sure the toes are facing forward. Press your heart through the body. Keep pressing the heart through the body. Three more breaths, everyone. Pull the chin in. Slowly lower down the heart, the belly, the sacrum. Bring your hands all the way up overhead. 
And then you're just going to drop the legs to the side. Take two big deep breaths in here. And then to the other side. Big deep breath in. Just you and your breath and your body. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your hands around the shins. Just you and your breath and your body. Bring your hands behind the foot. Stretch the legs up towards yourself. Like you're doing fashion with an asana, but on your back. But keep sending your tailbone away from your heels. Just one more breath here. And then just pull the knees in. Extend the legs to the side. Bring your hands down. Close down your eyes. And completely surrender into the ground. Completely surrender the weight of your body into the earth. Surrender your efforts. And allow yourself to be. that breath, find the calm, and completely be absorbed by it, just you and your breath, no voices, no critique, no judgment, just the flow of calm, and no tools and no things. Maybe stretch the arms up overhead, or maybe just hug the knees into your chest. And just make your way into your comfortable seat to close our practice today. Keep the gaze inwards. Meet the hands in Anjali Mudra and Prayer Mudra, and closing down the eye. And closing down from everything else, and moving deep within yourself. Bring your awareness into the center of your heart, just behind the breastbone. And just be with the breath here for a few moments in stillness. Just watching the coming and going of the breath, the in and the out. And just allow yourself to be just you and your breath. the chin in towards the heart, towards the sky, and take this moment to honour the self, to find compassion to the self, understanding to the self. Remember your devotion, and maybe set an intention. Bring your chin up off the chest, we'll finish to the chant. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavanta, which means may all beings be at peace, followed by Sri Om Sri Shanti. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Um
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.